Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Sharon Moore, Wink Martindale, continuing to build this defensive staff for this Michigan program, heading into 2024, going out and grabbing a very intriguing analyst in Kevin Wilkins. And what I love most about Kevin Wilkins is, and we talked about this when Sharon Moore was tasked with pretty much hiring a whole new defensive coaching staff, was you want to see the continuity, right? You want to grab guys that are familiar with what Michigan has done on the defensive side of the football the last three years. We witnessed one of the best defenses, not only in the country this year, but really one of the better defenses that we've seen in a long time at the college football level in 2023. And us Michigan fans are saying, yeah, we want more of the same. You go out and grab Wink Martindale, largely considered kind of a mentor to guys like Jesse Minter and Mike McDonald. Do you feel good about that defense continuing the momentum heading into 2024? Now you go out and grab an analyst in Kevin Wilkins who has experience with Wink Martindale, Jesse Minter, and Mike McDonald at Baltimore, but also is seemingly Wink Martindale's guy. As when Wink Martindale went to New York, he took Kevin Wilkins with him. And then when Wink Martindale's coming to Ann Arbor, he's taking Kevin Wilkins with him as well. And I wouldn't be surprised if Sharon Moore reached out to Mike McDonald, reached out to Jesse Minter and said, Hey, how are we feeling about Kevin Wilkins? I'm guessing the news was positive because Kevin Wilkins is joining the staff as an analyst. I want to get into what Kevin Wilkins is going to be doing for this Michigan defense or what we think he's going to be doing for this Michigan defense heading into 2024. Before we get into it, as always, just want to say Thank you to you guys. A shout out to the Michigan fans. Many of you guys know I'm a massive Michigan fan. It truly has been a blast talking this Michigan program the last couple of weeks as Sharon Moore has set out revamping this coaching staff. Cannot thank you guys enough for all the support. If y'all do enjoy the updates, enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And without further ado, let's get into Kevin Wilkins. And again, I think it starts with one. The, the familiarity that Kevin Wilkins has with what Wink Martindale, what Jesse Minter, what Mike McDonald want to do on the defensive side of the football, but also largely I always evaluate coaching hires with who have they worked with in the past? What coaches like these guys? What coaches have been hiring these guys? And I mean, Wink Martindale, the one of the most experienced defensive minds in the sport of football, right? At the college and NFL level, you kind of trust Wink Martindale and his judgment on Kevin Wilkins, a guy that I think was largely considered – a position coach candidate, but probably is best fit as an analyst right now because of the lack of experience. I'll say this come 2026, when it's maybe time to hire a next linebackers coach, you might be looking at Kevin Wilkins taking a position job and kind of working his way up through this Michigan program. I think Michigan's getting kind of ahead of the trend in terms of Kevin Wilkins. I think this is a guy that, I mean, less than six years ago was a video intern for the Baltimore Ravens and has continued to work himself up the kind of coaching ladder and the coaching industry, I think you're getting a, a hot commodity here, a young, exciting coach that I think is going through the coaching rankings relatively quickly. Now I want to get into what he's going to do and why I think this is kind of an impact hire for this Michigan defense heading into 2024. And it sounds like he has most experience with those inside linebackers. And I think this is massive. A lot of college football programs don't put that much responsibility on that linebacker position. You look at Michigan in that 2023 season, they put a lot of responsibility on linebackers. You have to do a lot of different things as a off-ball linebacker for this Michigan defense. I was looking at some numbers before hopping on. I mean, Mike Barrett was one of our best blitzers in that 2023 season, had a 24% pass rush winner. It had 16 quarterback hurries. That was only one less than Josiah Stewart, who is one of our best edge rushers in 2023. You look at what linebackers are asked to do in this Michigan defense. We're putting a lot on their plate. And we had linebackers, Mikey Barrett, Junior Colson, who could certainly handle that load. You want to make sure that these linebackers are developed and are processing right on the football field. And you look at this Michigan linebacker room heading into 2024, Ernest Hausman, Jayshon Barham coming from Maryland, two guys that are relatively new in this Michigan defense. I think you add Kevin Wilkins as a defensive analyst, probably going to play a massive role in developing those linebackers, getting them kind of up to speed in this Michigan defense. And I'll say this, I mean, this is, y'all you, know how much I love Junior Colson and Mikey Barrett. You might be looking at a linebacker room from a pure talent standpoint with Barham and Hausman that potentially have even a little bit more upside. And if you can get these guys seeing the field the right way, processing what's in front of them, playing fast, 
you're looking at a linebacker group that I think can have a massive impact on this Michigan defense. And most importantly, they're behind or they're playing behind on one of the best defensive lines that you see in the country. So they're going to get kept clean. They're going to have a lot of opportunity to impact the game in 2024. I really do like this hire. I think you get a young up and coming coach that it sounds like is really highly regarded in terms of the coaching industry. Again, I would guess that Jesse Minter certainly gave the the nod of approval in terms of Kevin Wilkins. There's no doubt in my mind, Sharon Moore reached out to Jesse Minter, or Mike McDonald when he was thinking about hiring Wink Martindale. And then there's no doubt in my mind, he also reached out to them about Kevin Wilkins as well. Getting the stamp of appro- approval from Jesse Minter and Mike McDonald and Wink Martindale, <coughs> excuse me, certainly a good sign. And under the radar hire, but a hire that I think a lot of Michigan fans, including myself, are going to be really excited about. Appreciate you guys rocking with the fellas again. We'll continue to keep you guys updated with this Michigan offseason. Sounds like the recruiting trail really kind of starting to pick up. We'll start talking about some visitors and some targets for this Michigan program. Appreciate you guys rocking with the fellas. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll talk to y'all later.